Managing APIs can be a headache. You need to test multiple endpoints, handle authentication, and debug errors, all while jumping between different tools, keeping track of everything, running requests, and ensuring everything is working. God bless. But yesterday, while I'm in daily.dev, I found articles talking about API requests and so on. I entered the website, and it's an API testing and debugging tool for VS Code. So I'm going to try it today. They're saying it's free, and I prefer free things than paid. So let's go to VS Code, then to the extensions section. All right, and there we go. Here it is. Let's click install. Oh, no login required. And they're saying it's lightweight, and it works with Postman. We will see. And boom, we have it now. Okay, so this is it. And this is the extension interface. Now we need a Postman collection. So let's see public collections. Let's see this one. It contains only post requests, but is all right. And let me just export it. It'll be exported as a JSON file. Nice. Let's call it a Kingo Kingo. And good. So here it is. Let's go back to VS Code and import the collection. Here it is. Import from Postman. Supports collections. JSON exported from Postman. Version 2.1. Let's select the file and here it is. Import now. And boom. The collection now is ready to run. I called it testing. I choose it and then let's click it run all. It looks like we can customize iterations, interval, test data, and environment. I will stick with the default settings, whatever. Let's click run. And here are the results. Okay, so all the requests failed, nothing passed. We can see here why it failed. Just to make things clear, these requests didn't fail because of the tool. It's because of other things. Another one. Okay, here are some statics. Nice. Do you remember when they said you can work offline? Let's see if it's real. Let me just turn off the Wi-Fi and then try to run the collection again. And same results, 10 failed, nothing passed. This tool is an extension and is lightweight compared to other API testing tools. Now I want to try the debugger, but this time with different requests, I've already found this collection. And now run all. Run, and yeah, here are the results. It's working perfectly. I guess these are good features, but not really enough, so let's see their website. No, login, ultra lightweight, we know all of these features. API documentation, so we can generate API documents from existing APIs. And there's a real-time collaboration for Teams also good. It supports local storage. Um, there is a desktop app, Chrome extension, and a tool for IntelliJ. I really wonder if that's free forever. We promise that what's free now will stay free forever. Wow, really impressive. There's a paid plans. What's d different? Oh, I guess it's just a small limitations and few things. But on general, it's really good and it's free. So I guess it's just wonderful. If you want to use it, there's a, there's a link in the description. And if you like this type of videos, tell me to make more of them.